course of the next 16 years, I founded four more middle schools for the community. And now every summer, 600 incoming sixth grade students from our five middle schools spend a week at the university, becoming immersed in the university culture. We tell them, you're starting middle school in a university because we want you to end up in a university. Our alumni tell us that the experience is so profound, it ignites a spark that drives them through high school and into college. Facilities acquisition has been a challenge for charter schools across the nation, and it has been no different for us. However, with time and experience, we've become much more adept at successfully identifying and financing facilities that have really turned out well. In 2001, the second facility we acquired for expansion was not ready on time. And so once again, I had to figure out where to temporarily house my students. I knew the university would not house us, not after what happened in 1999, and this time there were 200 students needing a facility in the 11th hour. I decided to take them to a public park. I figured public charter school, public park. And our trusting 200 families dropped their children off in the parking lot of Pioneer Park one hot September morning. I set the eight teachers up at various spots in the park. The baseball diamond, by the big tree, to the left of the restrooms, near the benches, etc. And I brought a bell to ring when it was time for the student cohorts to move from one class to the next. After three days, we were chased out of the park by a man from the City <laughs> Department of Public Works. And so I put my 200 students on buses and for the next six days took them on educational field trips in the city of Los Angeles. Alvera Street, the Science Museum, the Museum of Natural History, the tide pulls at the beach and more. The students learned so much and loved every moment of it. In our world of charter schools, as you know, sometimes our greatest challenges turn out to be some of our most rewarding and memorable victories. Now, 20 years after that first grade 100 families started Community Charter Middle School, we serve over 5,000 students in 17 schools. Why? Because that first little middle school became so successful and so popular so fast that the community kept asking for more. Our organization is called PUC, which stands for Partnerships to Uplift Communities, and we are guided by three commitments. One, increase the college graduation rate by five times in the communities we serve. Two, students will be proficient. And three, our students will commit to uplift our communities now and forever. The graduation rate at our high schools exceeds 95%. Over 70% of our graduates are accepted to four-year universities and the remainder commit to community college. Around 100 of our alumni are working in our organization and over 20% of them are classroom teachers. They say they're fulfilling commitment number three, uplifting their communities. There are so many stories to tell about what's happened over the course of the past 32 years since I stepped on the campus of Pacoima Elementary School. The charter school movement has grown immensely in Los Angeles and nationally, but for those of us in the trenches, we remain student-centered and united for excellence and equity in public education. This incredibly challenging but immensely rewarding journey is one I will never regret having taken. My book is Passionate Warrior, My Charter School Journey, and it's filled with stories from the trenches. I have copies of the book available for purchase at the table to my left. I would love to chat with you, and I'll be happy to sign your copy if you would like a book. Thank you very much.